Right, a look at the Storm Team SkyCam Network. Still some clouds drifting overhead in the FM area as we peer out to the west along Interstate 94. But some rays of sunshine are peeking through, as you can see on the interstate, well lit up there out to the west. But uh, still enough clouds out there. We're at our high temperature for the day so far. Just a little bit of sunshine makes a big difference. Still, wind from the north-northwest, only 10 miles per hour. We also have 63 degrees in Moorhead as things Warm up a touch there as well. Here's a look at Grand Forks, and this is in East Grand Forks. Beautiful right now, 67 degrees, but boy, is it windy. Trees folding from time to time, 28 mile per hour gusts. Here's a look at those 60s, mainly from the Red River and points west. We do have a 59 in Gwinter, 63 Langdon, and then off to the east. More clouds and showers, keeping temperatures at bay. Bedette 52, 54 in Detroit Lakes. Fergus Falls, you have 57. Here's a look at the visible satellite. Really highlights those clouds quite nicely as we see quite a bit of it from Duluth through Minneapolis all the way out towards Grand Forks. We're finally starting to see some clearing, as is the Devil's Lake Basin. And in Fargo, a few breaks, but still looks like we'll have some clouds in our area for some time. The rain showers continue in portions of Kitson County from Roseau County and Lake of the Woods County all the way down towards the Bemidji area. Hit and miss, sprinkles of rain. Just make sure you have the umbrella handy if you're heading out to baseball practice. A lot of clear skies in the western half or two-thirds of the United States, and it's thanks to the jet stream's path. We can watch the flow of the clouds out here. Big storm system out in the North Pacific and that jet stream rising all the way up into northern Canada. This ridge of high pressure blocking the path of storms from making landfall right now. So it looks like a quiet and warming stretch of weather for us. Here it is in hour by hour detail. If you're heading out this evening, quiet on the North Dakota side of the river and our clouds and shower chances will be decreasing as we head toward 10 o'clock tonight, even across Minnesota. There may still be a few clouds out in our easternmost counties as we head towards bedtime tonight. 50s and then on our way down into the 40s, some briefly out to the west because you have clear skies longer. We'll cool off down into the 30s and yes, there will be a chance for some brief frost out there in our western counties. A frost advisory, Jamestown, Lemoore and Dickey counties, uh, Stutzman County as well. Northerly wind tomorrow, not nearly as strong. We start out with temperatures in the 40s for most areas, ramping up to 70 degrees by the lunch hour. Perfect for a walk in the park and a picnic sandwich in the basket. And then as you look at the Minnesota temperatures pretty fair there as well. Now take a look at your afternoon planner. Temperatures soaring. I think we have a chance at seeing an 80 degree reading not far from you in Grand Forks for the afternoon. Beautiful weather into the evening as well with light winds variable and a lot of sunshine with nary a cloud in the picture. Here's a look at your hour by hour planner. Clouds tonight will be decreasing. We start out at 45 for Fargo in the morning, rising up and we'll spend most of our afternoon hours in the 70s all the way towards the evening hours and very quiet weather in your hometown as well. 75 Gwinter, 78 to 80 up near Grand Forks, 74 in Langdon and a lot of upper 60s and low 70s in Lakes Country with light winds. I imagine we'll see some glassy lake photos uploaded to valleynewslive.com tomorrow. But for today, a beautiful double rainbow captured here near Middle Cormorant Lake out there. Nick, what a great photo. Thanks for uploading that picture. Here's a look at your rest of the week forecast. Thursday, hot, 82 degrees in Fargo with some sunny skies, light winds on Friday. Most of the day pretty pleasant, mid-80s possible. Evening thunderstorms and heading into Saturday, another repeat performance with a few rumbles of thunder and cooler weather for the weekend. Again, it will not be a washout all weekend, but some hit and miss showers and storms cool us off. Then next week, we're back to summer-like conditions. I think a lot of people will be happy to see those 80s and 70s, too. Yes, absolutely. If you do have complaints, send those attention. Mike Morgan, <laughs> yeah. if you have applause and praise, you can send those yeah. attention. Hutch. Yeah, there we go. That's how it works. Yes. Okay.